Hello and welcome guys and girls, this is the Prussian Prince with another StarCraft 2 Harvest Swarm replay cast, finally, and this is going to be CVZ. My opponent is called Redemption, he's spawning in the top right as the Red Zerg, as for me, I am the Blue Zerg, spawning in the bottom left. Now obviously my bread and butter, uh, bread and butter uh, opening is going to be hatch first in pretty much all matchups. That's what I'm doing here. Not changing anything at all. Both of us going hatch first and extremely similar timings here too. As you can see here. Uh, let us see now. How things are going to deviate. So my overlord is still going out over here. Still in scouting. And so is he. Like he's going to be sending overlords around. My overlord just finished though. So let us see. I'm obviously going double queen. So is he. His double queen is going to finish sooner. My two zerglings will finish sooner, but my drones will finish sooner too. So this is really interesting here. Also, I'm just going to speed things up and see here is two links going out. My two links going out. Funnily enough, they just passed by each other. <laughs> and I have two drones at my natural. He's got six already, but he's got 15 in the base. So he's made a lot more links than me already. He's already quite ahead. Now he's got like eight here. He's still got only six in terms of drones. I've got the edge now though. I'm probably gonna make a lot more uh, drones at this time. We'll see though. We shall see. He's adding on a spine crawler. He's not sure whether or not I'm attacking. But didn't he see my spine crawler? Yeah, he saw my spine crawler, so he must be like. Oh wait, what is going on? Maybe he's gonna attack me. He's adding a macro hatch, so he's probably gonna go link heavy in this game. Now as for me, you can see me get, getting like three extractors at the same time. He's still only on one gas. He's gonna take another extractor right now. Only on two gas though. But I'm already on four gases, so I'm gonna get my lair up. I'm gonna start getting uh, going for uh, spire immediately. There we go. Seven minute spire. Extremely early spire for me. He's got double evos at this front. I've still pretty much got even drone count. I'm a little bit ahead though. In terms of drones. He's gonna make more drones now though. So again, things shall even up. And he should be adding his. Yeah, his other gases have been added now. He needs to get another base. So do I though. I'm getting another base. He isn't though. So again, this is uh, one of the advantages. He made a few more links though. Like he has more units than me. So, but that's actually good because he isn't really using them. Now he's gonna use them though. But yeah, I'm adding an Evo chamber, a Roach Warren just in case, and it's fine. And what else am I making? Well. My spire is about to finish, so I'm gonna get a lot of mutas. My third base is started. His hasn't started. He doesn't even know I have a third base though. So he's in some trouble. He's gonna get another gas though, but he's pretty far behind in terms of that. And he's getting so many drones to mine from there. Wow, he's mining with so many drones from his bases. That's a lot of drones. Here he's gonna send some links around, but as you can see, I've got this pulled off of units now I have more links than him but he has more drones so that's advantages to him but he's only got two hatches anyway so it's not like it can help him here he tries to get in but he loses pretty much all of his links and I'm still uh, making a queen down here so yeah and I'm getting more zerglings out here those queens doing fine he's got some roaches out and he's gonna send them and this is actually, whose zergling is it? Oh, it's my opponent's zergling. And here he's gonna scout out with an overseer, but this before is just gonna kill it so fast. Not even funny. Now I'm gonna get some mutas on the way though. Only two. He's getting a lot of roaches though. I can make like eight mutas, but I don't have the minerals as funny as that sounds. Because I made like so many drones just now. And he started getting these gas geysers here too, soon enough. 
Funny thing is I've got more minerals than I have uh, gas. Doesn't really usually happen. So I'm just gonna... This is actually pretty bad by me. I have 1k gas and I can't spend it. So I'm just gonna wait until I have a lot more uh, minerals. Then I'm gonna get a lot of mutas. And he's actually gonna go with Roach Hydra in this game. He's finally getting a third base, but his is so late compared to mine. So right now I've got a distinct advantage in this game. Like he hasn't even started mining from his while I've started mine, and I'm getting my other two geysers up. Is one one pretty much finished already? But the thing is, my one defense has finished for mutas too, and with mutas I'm just gonna be able to take out a lot of stuff here. I could just cancel this. And I've already got a few more kills there, and I have more drones than him. I have not as much army supply though, but roaches cost a lot of army supply and they're cheap, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. Here I've got some Banelings. I seems like I've forgotten about those. It's pretty bad for my part, and I'm actually gonna let him get inside into my main base. Oh wow, and I don't even notice that. Well, that's pretty bad by me here. I shouldn't have allowed something like that to happen here. Now he's focusing my lair, and he's gonna be able to get it. So here, I'm actually in trouble because he's still got roaches going on the way. Forgot about those banelings here. But it looks like now they're gonna go and do some damage, but not enough. I've lost my lair, and I'm gonna lose a lot of drones here. This is so bad for me right now. But still, I've got mute those mutas doing damage here, and I've got the spine. But this isn't totally over yet, especially as those mutas are gonna just clean up everything here. I'm probably... I'm not gonna lose this space now, am I? No, I shouldn't lose this space now. It's gonna stay alive, and yes, it stays alive, but just barely. I'm gonna have to remake that hatch though. He doesn't have a third though, so at least that's good for me. I still have my spire, so I can uh, make more mutalisks. And right now I have an insane number of mutalisks, 19. Does have 17 hydras though, so that could not be. It could be a little bit harder for me to engage than originally. I thought than I originally thought, but yeah. Still going pretty good for me right now, and I'm gonna move out with my mutalisks. Here we go, mutas, mutas, mutas. Can try and attack, but he's got these spores, and spores are so OP against mutas, it's not even funny. <laughs> they they kill them so fast. And here I've got a lot lings just in case. I can start here. I notice the spore immediately, but I lose one muta even if I notice it so quickly. It's it's that strong. <laughs> so I'm still gonna probably expand this. So I just need the vision. That's why I'm getting the creep everywhere. And here I notice he still doesn't have a third. No third here. No third here. Here I'm engaging for whatever reason. It's pretty bad by me, but I like do, do take out all of. This. Things. I do notice that his hydras are out of position though, but there I miss micro. Here there are three hydras that I can take out. And here there are more hydras that are just gonna die to my banelings. That was pretty insane right there. And he's now still on two base. I'm gonna be on three base very soon. Taking out all the spores right here. I'm gonna go for that support too. Already got like two kills. Spores kills so fast. <laughs> Here I'm probably gonna go for those queens right now, focusing the one with the most energy, gonna take this one out. And I got some bailings in there, I'm attacking his evo chambers, he's got some hydras out. These guys are just gonna die so quickly, I've got a lot more lings on the way. But I'm not actually injecting properly as you can see here, I've got quite a bit of energy on my queens. But this game it doesn't really matter at this point, because I'm just... I have way too many units for him, and yeah, this should pretty much be game. Take out that spore, he's got one more queen, that's his, all his anti here, and this should be game. Even taking out some of his overseas as well. Hmm. But yeah, here you can just see how uh, his units are dying off one by one. It's only on one base right now. Still gonna try something, but honestly, I don't know what he can do on one base versus three base. I've been getting extra hatcheries for the larva just in case. And I'm gonna focus this hatch down. So I've got some minerals here. Not too, too many, but he's got enough, so to speak. He's mine like half. Just uh, expansion here. 
So yeah, I'm making some bailings, then I'm gonna attack his main and he's probably gonna leave after that. Here I take out another overseer. Not sure why he's making all these overseers, but yeah. So the bailings and lings are gonna march on in and take everything out. So yeah, his spores are taking out my overseers, but yeah, he decides to leave the game and that's it. So yep, that was another ZVZ for you guys and girls. So hope you guys and girls enjoyed and if you want to see more, wow, this guy has 11 kills. Yeah, if you want to see more, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google+, share the video and I'll see you next time.